Thanks for watching Squirrel Fun. Comment below and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever I upload something new. Check out some of my other videos for short trivia lessons and quick bits of knowledge so that you can learn something new every day, even with your busy schedule. Peace, love, rock and roll. Enjoy! After President John F. Kennedy's assassination in 1963, history buffs began finding peculiar parallels between Kennedy and President Abraham Lincoln. These lists of Lincoln-Kennedy coincidences are a strange mix of truth, fiction, and folks with way too much free time. Fact. Lincoln and Kennedy were elected to Congress 100 years apart, 1846 to 1946. They were elected to the presidency 100 years apart, 1860 to 1960. And they had successors who were born 100 years apart, 1808 to 1908. Fact, both men were shot in the head. Fact, both had successors with the last name Johnson. Andrew Johnson and Lyndon Johnson. Fact, the names Lincoln and Kennedy both contain seven letters. None of these common facts are particularly remarkable. The head is a logical target for a would-be assassin. Johnson is a common last name. Some people get excited about numeric coincidences while conveniently ignoring countless differences, such as the men's ages at the time of death, the years of their births, and the fact that their first names have different numbers of characters and Lincoln didn't even have a middle name. If the 100-year connection seems uncanny, perhaps it's because round numbers are given undue importance. Think of the excitement in foreboding that accompanies the end of the decade, the century, or the millennium. Coincidence both first ladies lost children while in the White House. Fact. While this is technically true, the situations were quite different. The Kennedy's child died a few days after a premature birth, and two older children, a boy and a girl, survived to adulthood. The Lincolns lost an 11-year-old son to typhoid while they were in the White House. They had three other sons. Two of them died before they reached adulthood. Coincidence. Lincoln and Kennedy were both assassinated by and succeeded by Southerners. Fact. Both men chose Southern running mates to help balance their tickets. Lincoln was from Illinois and Kennedy was from Massachusetts. That their assassins were both Southerners is debatable. Although Lincoln's assassin, John Wilkes Booth, sympathized with the South, he spent most of his life in the North and thought of himself as a Northerner. Kennedy's assassin, Lee Harvey Oswald, was born in New Orleans but moved around so much that he didn't identify as Northern or Southern. Coincidence. Both assassins were known by three names. Fact. Booth used the names J. Wilkes Booth and John Wilkes equally, whereas Oswald went primarily by Lee Oswald when he was not using one of his many aliases. Only after assassination, did police and the media use his full name to ensure proper identification? Perhaps the most interesting observation about these men's names 
is that many people don't believe that either of them were the true assassins. Coincidence Booth and Oswald were both assassinated themselves before their trials. Fact Although both men were killed before going to trial, the details of their deaths were quite different. Two days after Oswald was captured by police, nightclub owner Jack Ruby shot him in the abdomen while he was in transit under police custody. A lawfully armed federal officer named Boston Corvette shot Booth in the neck as he was attempting to evade arrest. Such a scenario cannot be considered an assassination. Coincidence. Lincoln and Kennedy were both assassinated on a Friday before a holiday. Fact. Lincoln was shot on April 14th, the Friday before Easter, also known as Good Friday. Kennedy was shot on November 22, the Friday before Thanksgiving. Lincoln lived until the next day, whereas Kennedy was declared dead shortly after he was shot. Coincidence. Both presidents had a special concern for civil rights. Fact. It is accurate to say that monumental events in civil rights occurred in each presidency. For example, Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863. And the March on Washington took place in 1963, during Kennedy's term. Myth. Lincoln's secretary, Kennedy, warned him not to go to Ford's theater. Kennedy's secretary, Lincoln, warned him not to go to Dallas. Fact. Kennedy did have a secretary named Evelyn Lincoln, but there is no evidence that she warned him not to go to Dallas. He was, however, frequently informed of assassination plots. Lincoln, the subject of as many as 80 known plots, was also used to these warnings. But he never had a secretary by the name of Kennedy. His secretary's surnames were Nikolai and Hay. Myth John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald were born a hundred years apart in 1839 and 1939, respectively. Fact. Even if it were true, it would simply be another instance of giving false meaning to a round number. But it's not true. Booth was born in 1838. Myth. Booth ran from a theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. Fact. Booth shot Lincoln in a theater during a performance of a play. He evaded police for 12 days, during which time he left the state and was eventually captured in a tobacco shed on a farm. Not really what most would consider a warehouse. Oswald allegedly shot Kennedy from the window of a book depository and was captured in a movie theater a few hours later. Myth. A month before Lincoln was assassinated, he visited Monroe, Maryland. A month before Kennedy was assassinated, he visited Marilyn, Monroe. Fact. Tee hee. This is simply a play on words, a macabre attempt at humor. Marilyn Monroe, one of Kennedy's supposed lovers, died more than a year before his death. In addition, there is no location named Monroe in Maryland.